Hi everyone, I'm Stuart Smith. Thanks for checking out our Facebook page. Today I want to go over a few things that may help you better your bunker play. I have six things to help you help you remember. Remember, you don't have to think all of them at once during your swing. Number one, the sand wedge has plenty of loft to get you out of these bunkers. So trust that your equipment can help you. You do not have to try and create a swing to lift the ball out. The sand wedge is designed to do that for you. Number two, remember, we want to make sure we keep that ball placed forward in your stance. For you right-handers, that's left to center. On most of your typical bunker lies, the not buried ones, we all hate those, but your typical lies, let's go ahead and open that club face up a little bit. That not only gives you a little bit more loft, it also enables that club to keep from digging too deep under the ball and makes for a nice glide of that club through the sand. Number four, we're going to go ahead and make sure you, you still have to utilize some body turn going back. We're going to turn that body just a short distance back. And as you do, I want your hands to make that letter L position. That's what we call wrist hinge. That's going to help enable you to generate enough speed to get that club traveling through the sand. Most importantly, we got to finish up on that front foot. We got to finish up on that left side and be face to the target. So let's go ahead and and stay down through the shot and finish up and face to that target up onto that left side. Lastly, imagine a box around the ball, say about the size of a dollar bill. A dollar bill can go a long way today. All you're gonna do, I just want you to splash that entire box of sand out onto the green. And there you go, there's a good bunker shot. That's gonna help you play some better golf. Remember, lessons are great stocking stuffers. You can see Rick, Chris, or I in the golf shop. Thanks for tuning in today.